Hey peeps, welcome to NAS Time and welcome to NAS Time headquarters. Here we are in my man cave. Haven't got time for camping today, but I have got time to give you the unboxing of the Sabre tire deflator. Now, I have been using the uh, Quickie tire deflator for quite a while, a couple or so years at least. And uh, to be honest, it's been very solid, very reliable, and uh, it hasn't let me down yet. So as part of my uh, inflation kit, I've actually got the quickie hose as well. And I was a little bit concerned with the rubber hose. I have had a couple of hoses go on me. Now a little bit of flexing and that, and you get little uh, splits in it, doesn't take much. So I was a little bit worried, especially with some big trips coming up. I'm doing the Simpson this year, so I really need something uh, more reliable. Now Kings bring out some great budget conscious products. For the more serious full driver, I definitely think you need to step it up a little bit over the years. So um, that's what I've done here. I've got the Sabre tire deflator. It uh, has a braided uh, metal hose, so it's gonna be a lot more reliable. I'm no longer gonna have to worry about it getting split. It does feel a little bit heavier in comparison. Um, I'm not sure exactly why, but uh, I'd say largely uh, that's got to do with maybe the grade or the uh, thickness of the uh, brass fittings. Uh, it's got better fittings as well, so uh, they're gonna be a bit more reliable over the years. So uh, I definitely know this is gonna last me a lot longer. Now I do have the All For Adventure tide deflators as well. A uh, little bit of a debate as to whether they're better or not. They uh, do serve their purpose and uh, I do like them because you can set the uh, pressure on them and it is a quick tide deflation system. But when you want pressures a little bit more specific and reliable, I definitely uh, tend to turn to one of these units instead. So this has got the rubber coating as well. Um, just as this has a little bit of a protection. The main difference I have found, uh, this has got pounds and PSI, but this has just got PSI. And it is a little bit bigger, so if I haven't got my glasses, it does make it a little bit easier to see. Now, to be honest, they both work about the same. So when you're using them, there's not a lot of difference. This probably does feel a little bit better and more solid. It uh, definitely is a little bit more accurate in the reading as well. Now I know I'm a couple of points out with this one, so I can set it at about the 38 and I know I'm getting about 40 uh, PSI, whereas this is definitely a little bit more reliable. Now why did I pick Sabre? Sabre are real full drivers. They're serious guys about their products. They do a lot of testing. It's an Australian company. They do get their products made overseas, but they test every uh, batch of products that they use and it really is a reliable brand. I also like that they come out with a uh, little bag here, and it's a breathable bag, so it looks like a pretty good quality. I wanna say breathable, it's got some netting material in there, and what it means is if it's a little bit dirty or muddy or whatever, you're not gonna put it away and it's um, you know, gonna to start to develop mold. So you know they've thought about all these little things and uh, really developed some great products. I've started turning to Sabre on a lot of my gear, my recovery gear, and I really can't fault it. It's uh, performing extremely well out in the field, and uh, that's exactly what you want. Something that's gonna last you long-term and you can rely on. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I've got lots of videos like this, tips, trips, and gear reviews. So please, if you like those, like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and we'll definitely see you again for the next video. Thanks, guys.